looking for an easy and affordable way to fix up your garage? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Stone Coat's epoxy flake flooring system to give your garage a new look with a little bit of DIY elbow grease. Hey there folks, my name is Mitch Quist and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to give your older garage a fresh new look with Stone Coat's epoxy flake flooring system. The first step is to use a grinder and a diamond blade to widen the cracks in the floor. If you can't fit a playing card into that crack, there's no need to widen it as it won't be visible. Make sure to sweep or vacuum any dust before moving on to the next step. That next step is mixing up an equal amount of part A and B of our floor patch epoxy gel until they become the same color. Use a stiff putty knife to fill the cracks. The gel will be cured and ready for the next step in four to eight hours. Use a hand grinder with a seven inch diamond cup wheel for the edges and rent a walk behind floor grinder to do the rest. Connect those tools to a vacuum cleaner to minimize dust in the air while grinding. Clean up all the dust with a vacuum blower or broom. Make sure to vacuum under the sheetrock or any small spaces. This will help ensure that when you use the moisture seal epoxy primer, it stays clean. The next step is to mix and apply the moisture seal epoxy primer. Measure out one to two ounces per square foot of floor to cover. Thoroughly mix part A before mixing in part B at a two to one ratio by volume. Moisture Seal Epoxy Primer has become the industry standard when applying epoxy over concrete. It penetrates in like tree roots creating a tenacious bond into the slab. Mix material for two to four minutes with a paint stick or a drill and a paddle mixer. Take time to scrape the sides and the bottom midway through mixing. Once mixed, spread the epoxy primer across the floor in thin lines with a magic trowel squeegee. Use a quarter inch microfiber roller to roll over it twice, front to back and then side to side. This will give you the best results. We're looking for a nice and thin coat here, thin to win. Keep the material from pulling up in deep puddles. The next step will be throwing out our flake colors depending on how much coverage we want. There's light, mid, and full coverage. For this project, I'm gonna be going full coverage. I'll throw out flake like I'm feeding chickens up and away from me until a uniform coverage has been achieved. For best results, you're not gonna to wanna to see any shine of that moisture seal epoxy. We're looking for nothing but dry epoxy flakes in a uniform pattern. Allow the flake and moisture seal epoxy primer to cure for 24 hours. Remember to remove any tape touching the wet epoxy to keep that tape from drying into the coating. Let the epoxy cure above 65 degrees for best results. After the epoxy has dried, take a floor scraper and lightly scrape the floor. Move it from front to back and side to side. This is going to remove any loose flakes. After scraping, get rid of any loose flakes with a broom or blower. Clean up as many of the flakes as possible before applying the top coat. If you don't, they can pile up and cause high points on your surface. Before using polyaspartic top coat, prep any area that touches the epoxy with tape to avoid getting the top coat on places you don't want it to. Measure out one to two ounces for each square foot of floor. Mix the top coat with a paint stick or a paddle mixer on a drill for two to four minutes. If you want it to be less slippery, add in two ounces of our non-skid additive for light grit, three ounces for medium grit, or four ounces for our heavy grit for every one and a half gallon polyaspartic top coat. Apply the polyaspartic top coat with a quarter inch microfiber roller. Roll it across the floor from front to back and left to right, ensuring an even coating. Once done, take off any tape and make sure there are no high points or piles of flakes before letting it cure 24 to 48 hours with temperatures above 65 degrees. And there you have it guys, light foot traffic can resume in 24 hours and you could park your vehicle on your new epoxy floor within 72. Stone Coat Epoxy's floor system is chemical resistant and easy to clean, perfect for your garage floor makeover. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you on the next video.